We're here at the middle of the garbage city here in Cairo. At the beginning, life was extremely difficult. We live like in a very small rooms, and the, the pigs next to you. It was like death. Like all the people, uh, drug addicts and uh, alcoholic, most of the families like really suffering. About 40 years ago, a man led his garbage collector to the Lord. His name is Father Simon. Well, this man, when he preached the gospel to these people, we have seen a tremendous transformation. The Bible Society of Singapore sent a team to visit the Coptic Christian Church in the garbage city in Cairo. It was a great opportunity to build partnerships and understand the Bible mission work there. Could you see this is the life situation here every single day? So people need to collect tons of garbage here just to earn a living. Before that, because they smelled, they were dirty, they were barefoot, they thought of themselves as part of the garbage. There is a man, uh, he used to collect the garbage from my house. He invited me several times to come here to share with the people the gospel. And there's been a big paradigm shift in their lives. He was involved uh, with his friends in gambling. He uh, smoked hashisha and uh, take pills. Uh, uh, Father Simon came, so they got scared because Father Simon just uh, jumped in uh, in two in the morning. <laughs> and the Lord did a lot of miracles in the area. They repent and they open their heart for Christ and they changed. So now, how many Coptic Christians are there in Garbage City? Uh, about 60,000 people. Wow, hey, yeah. in this area? In this area. But when they came to know that Jesus loved them, where well, now they feel a sense of dignity. Yes, they collect garbage, but they are not garbage. So when he starts to be committed Christian, he stop everything. So he is clean for 10, more than 10 years now. He now serves the sick people. Father Simon open opportunities for all the community. He started to educate the people by himself. So the church we are gonna go there, it became like a safe haven for the whole community. So this is now the entrance of the church. Above the garbage village, they found some big caves and they transformed these caves into churches. And now they have the largest churches in the whole of the Middle East. The cathedral seats 25,000 people. So the church became the center to reach out for the whole family big portion of their life, it's, a, it's about the Bible. So we supply for them the children ministry, the youth ministry. Father Simon is very uh, supportive for the Bible work. Uh, life became much better than before. So we have second generation of doctors and engineers, lawyers, teachers. So the garbage collectors, instead of being simply an ostracized minority, are now a proud community. The transformation of lives in the garbage city is truly inspiring. Through your continued support and prayers, we can impact more lives in Egypt. Come, partner with us. Join us in the Bible mission.